Hello everyone, welcome to the Geoscientist. Uh, in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to do well bore stability analysis. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, uh, do subscribe and share it with your fellow geoscientists and like uh, our videos. So, in the previous uh, tutorials, I have uh, like demonstrated how to import data and uh, how to do TVD computations, the poor pressure estimation and the stress estimations, along with elastic properties and wrong strength uh, properties estimations as well. So these are all available in my uh, playlist. Uh, go to uh, my YouTube channel and in the playlist for the two tech clock tutorials, you will find all those uh, modules over there uh, for which I have already uh, made the videos. Uh, so today, uh, in today's uh, uh, video, I'm going to show you well bore stability anal analysis. For this, uh, uh, you have certain prerequisites you have to estimate your stresses you have to estimate your elastic properties and rock strength properties and uh, then you uh, and the pore pressure estimation as well so once you have all these uh, variables you can do your verbose stability analysis a pre drill or the post drill as well so depends upon your requirement uh, you want to uh, learn how i did uh, i estimated all those uh, variables or the properties uh, just go to my channel and in my uh, playlist of the tech log tutorials you can watch all the videos and I have tried to make shorter videos uh, but sometime uh, uh, a longer video is required anyhow uh, you will get benefit from those let's jump into it so go to your geomechanics tab from your um, main uh, window and under uh, geomechanics you have this well bore stability analysis button uh, click on your this uh, well bore stability button and uh, do your uh, well bore stability analysis select well bore stability analysis so it will open this sort of uh, window so you have to provide all these parameters here uh, if you have all those parameters so first of all is the hole deviation if your hole is deviated it is not vertical you have to provide the deviation and it's azimuth so i have i have a hole deviation my well is deviated i have the hole azimuth i have already estimated the biot coefficient i have poison ratio static unconfined stress i have my tensile strength these are the variables i estimated and uh, i have made the videos of those parameters so you can go and watch those as well I have my stresses, minimum horizontal stress and maximum horizontal stress. Your uh, maximum stress direction, if you have uh, formation microimager logs or uh, uh, image logs in your uh, wells, you can go and uh, look at the direction of your fractures or the breakouts that will show you uh, what is your uh, maximum or minimum horizontal stress direction usually our fractures are in the direction of our uh, maximum horizontal stress and our breakouts are in the direction of minimum horizontal stress so uh, you can uh, go and uh, look at uh, do your image logs to define your maximum horizontal stress direction or you can use the global map for the stress directions and uh, and uh, uh, provide the value here from your local region the mud weight uh, mud weight is usually used during the drilling so you should have your mud weight from your uh, drilling information and your equivalent circulation density as well ECD So if you have the mud temperature, you can provide it or the formation temperature. I do not have these right now with me. So I'll just stick with these variables. Hit create and drop your data set over here. So these are your parameters over here. 
just quickly go through them so okay here it is effective stress I am going to use a vertical stress so it is using inclination in your azimuth geographic north azimuth true north I am right now going with the geographic north and let's see how it behaves and other parameters are good to go in the zonation if you want to define certain zones uh, parameters for different zones you can uh, import all the zones here and in parameters tab so what sort of the failure criteria you are going to use so you have different failure criteria a modified Lade, Mogi Coulomb, Mohor Coulomb, Drucker Prager uh, Drucker Prager circumscribed in, in uh, scribed and Stasi Dialia so usually three uh, uh, important uh, uh, failure criteria which are used in the industry are the Mohor Coulomb, Modified Lade and uh, Drucker Prager so uh, Mohor Coulomb is the most pessimistic sort of failure criteria and most optimistic is the Drucker Prager and uh, but the modified LADE is somewhere in between so I prefer modified LADE and from there thermal stress formation temperature reservoir depletion if your reservoir is depleting and uh, in the depletion state or you are injecting uh, something in your reservoir you have to select it to yes and then uh, provide these parameters as well so uh, I'm not going to do air because uh, I'm, uh, my reservoir is not depl uh, under depletion or injection so you want to uh, do the failure image prediction yes I'm going to do this one use uh, mud weight and ECT honoring casings you want to uh, use depth of damage yes I'm going to estimate depth of damage yes yes and your maximum horizontal stress direction so right now I'm going to it, give it 340 Uh, let's QC once again all the data set okay so here it is written no casing uh, you can provide the casing uh, I'll just so I'll show you how you uh, define the you can say casing hues here first of all if I say my first casing it has 300 meters just press this and next case I will say around 1500 so these are the pseudo wedges you have to use the actual casing depths hue depths and next at 2700 Uh, 12 quarter 17 inch 3500 and 4150 that's how you, you, you are going to use your casing depths and hit the compute button So what went wrong over here? Let's see. 
Now let's go into the inputs and going with the true note and play again. Yes, it didn't work because we didn't select the true note. We use a true north instead of geographic north. So here is your failure window. I am going to A218, A218. I am going to change their scale, select all the F4 and select user G per CC gram per centimeter cube and in the lower limit 0 to I'm going to use 4 let's see how it turns out So I'm just going to delete my minimum or maximum uh, mud window because these are recommended by the software. I'm going to delete these now because I have actual mud weight. So maximum and minimum. Delete these two. So according to uh, this right now, what it is suggesting that your pore pressure is over here. This is your pore pressure curve which is also called as your kick pressure. This kick one is your pore pressure and this is your frac gradient which is the loss, loss curve. So and this dark blue is the breakdown. So your shear failure minimum is the yellow one so it tells me that my shear failure minimum is below my pore pressure and uh, the mud weights I have used are these one so at this this point it tells me that uh, my pore pressure is uh, sorry my mud weight is higher than my uh, the loss gradient so which suggests that by using this uh, this much mud weight I am going to frack my formation or I will I should have losses in my formation then I will go back to my uh, drilling events and see whether I have losses in this section or not if I do not have losses in this section my hole was smooth so it means there is something wrong with my uh, uh, geomechanical estimation so I'll go back to my all the parameters variables I'll adjust those and come back again and run it again and, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll do all that back calculations until unless the calibration is done uh, and the, my the my mud weights uh, are calibrating with my events so if it is not calibrating with my events so there's something wrong with my whole estimation so your uh, drilling events like the cavings or the stuck pipes or if you have another other issues during drilling uh, they should be calibrated uh, with your this uh, failure uh, uh, this uh, stability window uh, <coughs> uh, right now it shows me that from uh, this point till this point there was no issue in drilling from this point onwards I have issue uh, uh, with the uh, uh, sort of a loss situation I'll go back to my drilling reports and see from this step till this step did we have the losses or not if we didn't have losses it means uh, this curve est uh, estimated curve is wrong so I'll go back I'll check my stresses whether I have calculated stresses or not uh, like I have uh, you know what I have done with my Elastic properties or the rock strength properties are they okay or not? 
or I am going to see whether my pivot coefficient is uh, uh, correct or not. Right now, if I am going, uh, if I go here and in inputs, if I in alpha, if I use no value, I will just leave it blank and in parameters tab, uh, if, where is the pivot coefficient? It has already like failure criteria modified Lade. I just unselected. If I hit play button and see, see I have removed the payout so it is not estimating. So inputs I am just going to select alpha. I'll do it once again uh, without payout and show you how this works. Now I'm going to the parameters tab. I am going to change my failure criteria method. I am going with the Mohor Coulomb. Let's see how this turns out. So let me change the scale. Select all the curves, hit F4 and from here